Alright, so welcome to this uh, video where I'm gonna walk you through how to install global TIS which you need to uh, get security access and to update uh, components of your car if you uh, want to do that. Uh, security access is needed for uh, all the NG93s and I believe you can only do it for the post 2009 models with global TIS uh, which won't work with TIS 2000 so we're gonna get started I am on a virtual uh, desktop on my uh, Windows 10 computer I have a copy of Windows 7 installed on the uh, virtual desktop this is a link to my Windows 10 computer so in here I have uh, the, uh, the ISO file I'm gonna just start by uh, copying it to my uh, Windows 7 computer and while doing that uh, I have installed a PDF um, reader I prefer PDF exchange editor because I can mark text in it and copy it which you're gonna need later and I've also installed a program called WinCD EMU which you can see here which is to mount this uh, ISO file so that the computer thinks you have a virtual um, or a disk installed in your computer so this one just finished I'm gonna right click it use the uh, program that I've installed to run this I'm gonna let it just sit on S open it here if you don't get this prompt you can go to computer and find it here so I'm gonna run this setup which can be found in uh, it's this one click OK I'm gonna ignore previous installation because uh, I'm going to do this fresh click next accept it leave the folder as is gonna just click next next and next leave this completely alone and install and let this run all the way through so uh, install is uh, getting close to the end here so this could take a minute or two but it's done gonna press ok there uh, so now starts the um, let's call it the tricky part because um, this is where you need to go in a bit deeper into your settings so you're going to start off going to computer control panel you go to system then you go to system again you hit advanced system settings environment variables and up here you're going to hit new now I'm going to navigate to the location where I have installed uh, global TIS I've installed it in the standard locations if you do it it's going to be the same as I'm doing now go to um, global TIS JRE bin then you can click up here copy this paste it in both fields to be sure I don't know what it does but you need to do it <laughs> then you uh, hit restart all right so we're back um, now that we've uh, restarted the computer you yet again navigate to the install location Now you're going to navigate to Tomcat, Web Apps, Root, and you're going to install 
this version of Java. It is important that you install this version and not the newer version, which means you need to use this old Java 6 uh, to make this work. There we go. Now you're going to run this one. And here's some uh, form you need to fill. I'm just going to fill this with gibberish, which uh, should surface. Saab is selected. I don't think it matters. I'm going to press email uh, registration. Save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to open it. You can see it. Uh, you can see it here. The file I'm opening. Now, uh, there should be a key generator. Uh, embedded with the uh, download you did. So I'm gonna go find my uh, key gen. I'm gonna copy this one, the bat file, batch file, and the class file into. I'm in the global test folder again, and uh, it's gonna go into. Tomcat web apps test the web web inf lib. I'm going to paste it here, and there we go. Next, you're going to hit start down here cmd. And you get this prompt up here. Then you need to go to this field up here. Copy. Go to the command prompt. You press CD, which uh, means uh, change directory. Paste it and press enter. How you see the uh, directory has uh, changed. Now you're gonna go to this uh, form that you opened, the PDF uh, file. You're gonna have to, or you can just, you know, you can just uh, type this in. But this is why I'm using PDF Exchange Editor because I can, uh, um, I can select text like this. And simply copy it. I'm gonna make a new text document. Let's call it key. Whatever you like. I'm gonna paste it here. That was the first part of the uh, key. Then you need to do the same here. Copy it. Paste it behind this one. Now comes the part where you have to mark it. Edit replace you're gonna have to remove all the dashes between the numbers and letters and that means you have to find dashes and replace with nothing just break replace all now you can see it's a consistent string of numbers and letters you copy this go back to the uh, command prompt you uh, type in key again dot bat space right click paste okay so 
what happened now is that we have generated uh, two keys. This one, let's see, right click mark, this one being the first one. So we're going to go back into the registration form on this one. Click yes. And down here there's something called subscriber ID. Subscriber ID is going to be the no one starting by T. So when you've marked it here, right again, right click, mark, control C, and you can paste it down here. Then license key is going to be this long string here. You can right click, mark, double click it, control C. Then you paste it down here, control V. Then you press register license key. OK. License was registered in Global TS has been activated. Log out, close the browser, close all this, then you can open it again. Now you should get this uh, screen. And here you are. Now you can uh, ac access your tech to. I don't have it connected, so I can't connect to it. And you can get your uh, security access. You can also do remote tech to you via, via this program. So uh, that's it for this video. I'm not sure if I'll be making another video on how to connect the Tech2 to Global TIS. Um, that's going to be highly individual in which adapter you have and if you're using a virtual uh, desktop as I am. So I think that's going to be more of a confusion and a help to other people. Thank you for watching.